And the style of Tantra that you have developed through Tantric Journey, I know that there's different schools of Tantra. There's White Tantra, Pink Tantra, Red Tantra and Black Tantra. Yeah. Where does Tantric Journey fall under? In Tantric Journey, I teach everything. Cool. So I don't belong to any category. I teach everything. But that doesn't mean to say everybody can understand or accept or implement or retain what I teach. Everybody's individual. And you will not understand number three until you understand number two. And you will only understand number two when you understand number one. So you have to go step by step, one to seven. To understand tantric journey mm. so i teach everything with the knowledge and the experience i have but different people only embrace up to different stages because that's the capacity they have and by one to seven are you talking about the chakras yeah 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 mm. yeah and is is there quite a lot of conflict in the tantra community between which school is considered the best i know that they, they use words like pure and impure yeah left-handed and right-handed and yeah i think the conflict is because uh, if you draw a circle and if you do a dot in the middle of the circle in the circle you have many tantra schools but they're all trying to get to the dot in the middle <laughs> but they have different approaches. They have been taught differently from different lineage. Yeah. And once you understand that, then you will say all the schools are doing the right thing. But they're doing it in a different way. So that's the way I look at it. Yeah. I'm not saying my school teaching, my school is the best, but it's another way of teaching. And there could be another person teaching the same thing in a different way. And I respect that. Mm. But the goal is the same. To get to Everybody's that. goal will be the same. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Goal is to go to that center. Mm. That's the goal. That is 100%. Every Tantra teacher would be, the goal is to go to the center. Yeah. And what makes Tantra different from other spiritual practices? There's no difference. No difference. Tantra is... If you take the circle, Tantra is just one of those points in the circle. Yeah. Many other spiritual practices are also within that circle. They're also trying to get to that center. Yeah. There's no difference. Yeah. And that's what I find so interested, interesting about spirituality. It's why I started this podcast, you know, because yeah. there's so many routes yeah. to get to that dot. Yeah. And uh, if you keep looking, you will find the one yeah. that you click with. That's what's important because... Tantric journey itself is not for everyone. Mm. So now we have split tantric journey into so many different levels as well to make it accessible for more people. So different people will embrace different modalities of spirituality and tantric journey is just one of them. Mm. Mm. Cool. <laughs> Actually, I encourage after students become a practitioner, I encourage them to go and learn from other teachers. Yeah. To learn from a different, you know, perspective. Yeah. I mean, m my background's in shamanism and I found so many similarities yeah. between that practice and Tantra. Yeah. You're stripping back the layers and, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, working with whatever it is that, that yeah. is up there and, yeah. or door down there or wherever yeah. it is. Yeah. Um, and it's each practice has really helped the other one. Definitely, because they are talking about the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's what I, I really enjoyed because yeah. there was there was no um, idea that it was, you know, this is the right way of doing things and this is the right way of doing yeah. things and yeah. you can't do this if you can do yeah. that. Yeah. There's room for everything. Yeah. And that was very soothing because I didn't have to turn off a part of me no, no. that responded well to something. No. To, 
to you pick keep, up something. Yeah, you keep what you already have and you just add other tools from other learnings yeah. and other teachers. That's what I did all my life. Mm. Uh, I never changed my identity to be somebody else. And you could never be somebody else. You can only be yourself. Shivanam